The calls for action are growing louder. A lot of my friends didn't make it. Didn't, they couldn't take the culture shock and the abuse that they suffered in residential school. Survivor Bill Namagus wants the federal government to push the Roman Catholic Church for accountability. This is technically a genocidal event that's happened for a few hundred years in Canada, and the Pope has to acknowledge that. In 2017, the Prime Minister asked Pope Francis for an apology. I then told him about how important it is for Canadians that we move forward on a real reconciliation with Indigenous peoples. But months later came word the Pope would not give an apology. There was no explanation. The Catholic Church is doing a, a, a disservice to Indigenous people around the world. But now the federal government says it will renew its request of the Vatican. This is what um, one of the calls to action of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, and we want to do them all. It doesn't get the government off the hook either for responsibility. The chief commissioner of the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls says the fact that the church ran most of the schools doesn't excuse Ottawa. I think that the federal government now have to say in clear, unequivocal language, yes, we are responsible for the genocide, and this is what we're going to do to make it right. Order. Tonight, in a debate in the House of Commons, the Prime Minister acknowledged the great harm done and the loss of life at residential schools. They would have been elders, knowledge keepers, and community leaders. They are not. And that is the fault of Canada. So, Olivia, what is the Catholic Church saying now? Adrian, it isn't saying anything about an official apology, and the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops did not respond to our interview request. But in a, in a statement, it describes the discovery of remains at the former Kamloops Indian Residential School as a tragedy, and says it walks side by side with Indigenous communities. And besides from an official apology, Adrian, many people are calling for the Catholic orders to hand over all residential school documents. And this week, the Sisters of St. Anne said it is collaborating with the Kamloops to Shkwetmik First Nation to provide any records and information from the former Kamloops Indian Residential School from its archives. Okay, we'll stay on top of that. Olivia, thank you.